Hi and welcome on my Ubuntu 16.10 but then again it's not an Ubuntu, it's a Xubuntu so here we see on the right are Aureola Acres which I have given a nice Xubuntu little logo and we see that it's called Ubuntu but of course it's another desktop we're looking at it's a Xubuntu 16.10 already adapted, fine-tuned and um, Previously I've installed Antergos XFCE so I went and uh, delved into the settings of XFCE and what you know you can find the same settings of course in Xubuntu so I've done just that I've looked at this desktop environment and I thought well let's see if I can get the same uh, feeling so um, what did I do? we see at the Sardi icons, let's have a little screen fetch so you know what I'm working on and what I'm working with yep, that's true, I installed the latest kernel available at the time, so no problems there um, ZSH for the coloring of our terminal and arc red dark is also something very specific so you see this red element here and you can see them at some places in XFCE so these are specific um, men, uh, men made, uh, personally made ARC themes you can change them in the github from ARC Colora you can change the ARC blue color to the one of the 16 million colors you have you're looking at the Sardi icons and I have made the font a little bit larger as well I have deleted a few lines here on my computer there are less elements available in the sensors so in the Conky you have this program which is called sensors and you can have information available about fans and all that so if you don't have all this information and how is it possible that I have all this information you should also run afterwards sensors detect so it's going over your motherboard and see if it recognizes anything and then you can get, uh, you can go to the Conky config and you can say I want to have this one. So you grab the GPU core and you want to have the second one or the third one or the fourth one, fourth element of this row and so on. So it's um, not that difficult as long as you know that uh, the program sensors and you, have, you should run sensors detect. And then you're working in these lines here. Motherboard is something else, that's DMI Decode a program you should install and will be installed when you run the Conkey so this information is all available to us you can see whatever elements are on your system and it gets technical names so you can as well get it out of the lines and now you know I have an MSI motherboard uh, what else did I do? I moved uh, the toolbar, I guess, from the top to the bottom as well. So the panel, right mouse click, properties. No, not that one. Um, panel properties, better one. Panel zero. So one panel, that's all I wanted. And I locked the panel to the place I want. Like so. And uh, the size, I changed a bit the size, I guess. Um, appearance, a little bit alpha, so a little bit uh, you can see through it. Opacity, if you enter it or leave it, if you want to change that as well. It's a whisker menu that's standard installed, which is great. In Antergos, I had to install it extra. So this is, well, the elements, these are the elements in a uh, whisker plugin or whisker menu okay that's that close um, how does it look how does it feel quite fast actually um, for the rest these are all normal elements everything looks the way it's supposed to look like so and 
you can go to the settings or the system and here you have this little button where everything is available so these are all the settings that are available to us the ones I visited are of course appearance so arc red dark and this will be the blue one as you see it's starting to get blue here rather like the red one and then icons you change icon set to Saudi mono arc for instance will make all the icons mono and the fonts you can make it a little bit larger if you want to like so and settings nothing changed there I think compass settings manager haven't gone in that into that so uh, nope didn't change a thing desktop language uh, desktop I deleted the elements the icons on my desktop here nothing changed there nothing changed there theme configuration nope I haven't changed the thing window manager I did change something so arc red dark that's okay noto sans bold italic so I changed it to italic make it even bigger center it focus advanced ah yeah, there was some tip this was an interesting thing to do just uh, flick it on here to other windows so if you have uh, two windows open it will uh, snap to it it's uh, uh, spare some time that's good yeah. and then all settings mm -hmm. window manager tweaks if you have a uh, plank which is at the moment not active I haven't started its uh, standard so plank if you have plank you should have this off show shadows under dock windows will give this ugly thing here which you don't want so don't do it all settings what else workspace is just one that's enough already I haven't done anything here you can change the XFCE panel switch no two didn't go for that additional drivers bluetooth bluetooth power managers um, normally i do all is this when power button is pressed shut down for in the evening you just wanna go to bed shut down so that's a nice option there printers printers do work fantastic no problem so i have this little Canon MG7700 well everything worked out of the box um, it's all described here on the website there is this github which is here so I have this little file so everybody with a Canon Pixma MG7700 and 50 that will work just fine um, cheap part session software updater all the rest has left has been left alone i think okay so that's um, my my um, well it's not a review but my uh, my setup of xubuntu after installing it i've installed some software you can see what i installed here all the software this is the biggest one we install all needed software at once and all the extras that have been uh, added later with the latest kernel update and all information for your approval for your reading can be found here all everything about Saturday icons everything about themes I've made a new one distro menu so you'll get more focused set of articles depending the distro and then Linux the playlists on YouTube everything to download and the rest Okay, have fun uh, using Subuntu. It's um, a nice little distro. You can tune it efficiently, but then again, that's XFCE. So if you want to have XFCE, you can have a choice. You can go to Linux Mint, you can go to Antergos, you can go to Arch, you can go to Manjara. You can do a lot of things. Uh, so you can, best thing to do is probably uh, Google and 
ask distro xfce best or something and then make a choice all right have fun